Hello everybody, I'm Aaron Hazelhurst. Welcome to the program. It's going to be a fascinating and exciting snapshot of all the latest in the world of business and money. Let me just recap the uh, breaking news we've heard about this Qatar Airways flight. Obviously from Doha, it has landed at Manchester. This was a flight that was escorted in by Royal, the Royal Air Force jets. It's landed, and we know it's landed at Manchester Airport, and uh, all of this as a result hasn't been confirmed, but as a result of information received by the pilot about a possible device on board. All of this according to Greater Manchester, uh, Manchester Police. So the Qatar Airways has landed at Manchester Airport, and of course we're across this, and we'll bring you the latest news on this, uh, on this development. But it was certainly escorted in by fighter jets there. Okay, let's start with this. An offer by the Formula One boss. There he is. Bernie Eccleston to pay $100 million to end a bribery trial against him. It's been accepted. The German uh, state prosecutors in Munich have said that they'll, uh, well, they will agree to the offer and cited Eccleston's advanced age, 83 years old, as a factor to, well, to support the settlement. Eccleston's court battle began in April over allegations that he bribed a former German banker as part of the sale of a major stake in the Formula One franchise to the private equity group CVC. This was eight years ago we're talking about. So what does, that's the question, what does this settlement mean for the business of Formula One? Well, I've got a Formula One expert in the house, Johnny Dodge. He uh, joins us, chief executive of GP, Johnny is that your real name? It is. It's a classic. <laughs> it's a cracker. I love it. Johnny Dodd. Great to have you in the studio, Johnny. Thanks. Um, okay. Some people around the world may be looking at this and going, hang on, Bernie Elkerson's just paid $100 million, has paid off the trial, almost considering it possibly as silence money. I, I think that some people can criticise too much. I mean, look at what Bernie's achieved. He is the one that's bringing in billions and billions into the UK economy well, from he what he's thing. created. So ultimately, he's 83 years old. If you have the money and the opportunity, you just pay it off because you want this to go away. You want to live your life. Enjoy it. And you want to focus on, on his empire, right? Exactly. That's Bernie's Formula focus. One. So going forward, and no disrespect to his age, he's 83 years old. He still looks fit and healthy. Um, but. He has to. He has to make advances, right? We have to. He has to move uh, Formula One forward. I mean, how does he do it? Can he do it at that age? Of course, that's what he's been doing. He, he's created this from nothing, and he's building that all the way. Bernie's going to be on his deathbed before he's going to tell anyone that he's going anywhere. So I mean, he does run it with a very, um, a very slimline management structure. Yeah, I mean, you look at the big organisations around the world, from the NBA to with thousands of people running it. Bernie's running it with 50 staff. He's streamlined. He's running it well for that business. He does an amazing... He ticks off everything through to who gets their paddock pass. That's somebody, yeah, a paddock or a pit pass, he actually approves it. That's the man that signs it. That is phenomenal. And hey, let's talk about the, the CVC. This is the group that bought a very large chunk, right? Yeah, of, they're, they're one of the major shares. Of sales. Formula One. Um, we hear uh, reports that possibly that, well, if, if he had been found guilty, they would have fired him. Uh, he's not guilty, not guilty or, or innocent, apparently, is the verdict. Um, but could CVC use this as a, as a catalyst to, to make the changes at the top? Bernie's not one for moving quickly, and, but ultimately things are going to go his way. He's still in control of the business, even though he's a minor shareholder. But ultimately, CVC have to... He will move out slowly. They need to sell the business. And to do that, no one's going to take that on at a point where they don't know how that change is going to go when Bernie's going to move. No one's going to buy a business with an uncertain future. So gradually, as Bernie decides, and probably at his pace, things will evolve as he will slowly start to move away. Just, just briefly, I mean, again, this whole trial saga, some may say, oh, he's not as wide as white, perhaps, or not. But could this, could this taint Formula One as an industry in itself. I mean, could it affect sponsorship money? I, ultimately, a lot of the sponsors are driven through the teams, and that's the brand they're supporting. But with Bernie, he's always been characterful. And there's so much going on in the sport, so much changing with the noises, with the regulations. This is just one of the episodes in Formula One, and it's, it's not been affected in the past. It won't be now. Okay, interesting stuff. It's a short program we have, but we appreciate your time, Johnny. I Thank love you. it. Thanks very much. Stay there. Johnny Dodge, Formula One expert, joining me in the